The control room section of a mixer is one of the key elements in every studio. No matter if it's just about controlling the level of studio monitors, switching between different sets of monitors, communicating with musicians in a recording booth, or quickly switching to an external source like CD, DAT, or DVD player. The control room section of a professional mixing desk brings all these signals together and distributes them within the studio. The mixer in Cubase 4 has been expanded with a powerful control room section. You're now able to connect four sets of control room monitors and six external sources, such as CD, DVD, or DAT player, directly to your audio hardware and switch between them from a convenient control room panel. The control room section also offers a talkback channel, an independent headphone channel, and the ability to create up to four studio mixes. Therefore, each mixer channel now offers a separate studio send section for controlling those mixes. Four user-definable monitor setups allow for quick switching between monitor systems, including fullback, and convenient solo functionality for surround setups, such as solo to center or back to front. These are completely separate buses, leaving the main mix output untouched. A total of up to four separate studio sends can be sent to musicians in recording booths, each getting their signal feeds from any audio channel, group channel, or effects return channel, each offering level and pan. You're now able to connect up to six external inputs for external sources. DAT, tape, CD or DVD can be played through either studio, track, headphone or control room bus. The talkback function allows producers and engineers to speak directly to musicians or artists in any or all of the studio sends. Automatic dim when talkback is used as well as a manual dim button can reduce the control room and studio sends output levels by 20 dB. Even the click can be bust, allowing for individual distribution of a metronome click to the studio, headphone, and control room buses. Inserts are available on all channels, along with copy and paste functions. For example, applying the main mix of any of the studio mixes with a single mouse click or key command. The routing of all control room buses can be monitored and edited via the control room overview window. All elements and their possible connections are displayed with green dots, marking existing connections. With the addition of the virtual control room and suitable multi-channel audio I.O. hardware, virtual studio technology is brought to a whole new level.